when I first came to China, I felt like I came to a new planet. <laughs> Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jane Bernard and you know in this channel we talk about everything vlog, traveling in China, getting people to watch this channel and also more things and interesting things you have to get here in China. So today I have a special guest on my channel. She's cute, beautiful. <laughs> She's everything nice you can think about. And anyways, enough of that. Before I get into this video, please subscribe, like and share to your friends, okay? She brought me this. <laughs> so yeah. Hi. Hello, Jane. Okay, can you please say hello to the YouTube people? Hello, everybody. I Bowen. Oh, that's cool. She said I Bowen. All right. Please, can you tell me where you're from? I'm from Sri Lanka. From Sri Lanka. How long have you been in China? Uh, now it has been three and a half years. Three and a half years. Yeah. And what do you do in China currently? Uh, currently, I'm studying in Shandong Normal University. Okay, she's Shandong. Uh, she's at Shandong Normal University. So, to all the Sri Lankans out there, hello. You have your beautiful sister here. Her name is Lakshi. Well, I'll I'll be asking her a question. Being a Sri Lankan here in China, okay? And just stick around because this is gonna be amazing. How does it feel being a Sri Lankan here in China? Uh, it was first. It was a little bit difficult because uh, I didn't know the language, and the food is a little bit uh, different from our country. But uh, after a few years, now it's three and a half years, so I I know the language and I'm used to the food also. And first uh, experience with the Chinese people, they all thought that I'm from India. So <laughs> everyone asking, are you from India or what, like that. But then I introduced myself uh, like I'm a Sri Lankan and they all was very happy to uh, meet me and ask me, asking me, ask me, sorry, ask me that uh, about the tea because in our country, it's popular. Uh, red tea, uh, black tea, is black the most tea. popular tea. Oh. So uh, every when I say I'm from Sri Lanka, they all ask that or oh, Hong Cha like Hong that. Cha. Oh, yeah. Hong Cha means the red tea. Yeah, red tea. Oh. We call it black tea. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm gonna be asking the next question, which is, what do you like about China? There are a lot of things yeah. I love about China. Uh, first is Chinese culture. I really love Chinese culture because it's like long ago they have created these things like uh, decorations and the cultural things, da music, dancing and everything. I really like about that. And then uh, the Chinese people, they are very kind to me. Like uh, they help me so many times. Because I a lot of times I travel alone. When I come to Chir uh, China, also I came alone. So in the airport or the in the train station, they always help me with my luggage and everything. Mm -hmm. I even don't know them, wow. but they help me. And then my mom's friend. There are so many f my friends of my mom here oh. in China and Jinan. So they also help me a lot mm. to in various times and then the next thing is the technology oh, because amazing. it's like when I first came to China I felt like I came to a new planet <laughs> I really oh, because uh, it's very different from Sri Lanka oh, with okay. the technology and it's developed country so it's really amazing Mm, okay, so if you were to choose maybe um, maybe Sri Lanka and China, what's the little difference in culture? What difference in culture did you notice here in China? Uh, there are a lot of uh, similarity in the culture because we 
always like uh, when it's come to the new year that that we have new year and the new year also the same kind of rituals we also have like we are going to visit our uh, parents and the family we take uh, f- uh, food for them and like that we share things like the money uh, hombao we oh, also have really? that kind of ritual in the new year like we exchange money for oh. the new year so and the culture is, is almost like same same thing but uh, i think uh, it's like old china is very similar to sri lankan culture sri Lanka, oh. yeah but okay. not the <laughs> current all right first i would like to ask why you gave me this uh-huh. guys she came to my house for the first time and she brought me this so i would like to ask her to explain why so this is very small gift it's not like Thank a big you. one but uh, it's uh, in our sri lankan culture we have like when we go to a friend's house or we see someone's house uh, we don't go there empty hand oh we have that culture so it's very small thing guys. <laughs> sorry guys this is good i <laughs> mean please could you help me thank you wow i feel so so <laughs> blessed <laughs> oh thank you so much yeah. all right guys she gave me these and it's part of the sri lankan culture Well, um the next question, let me have that. Thank you. The next question would be um what are the things you really don't like about China? Sorry. <laughs> what are the things you don't like about China or the things you 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 think you cannot adapt to in China? Uh in China, I think the food. <laughs> <laughs> because I love spicy food and I love Indian Sri Lankan food. So Chinese food is little bit di- very very different di- very different <laughs> not little but very different from the our cultural food and everything so I think that's the only thing maybe I oh. don't like only food. <laughs> yes. She is a foodie like me and I like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Being a student here in China, what or rather living in China as a whole What are the things you can tell to the Sri Lankans out there maybe aspiring to come to China or going abroad as a whole? What are the things they should they should get prepared for? I think uh, there are a lot of Sri Lankans studying in uh, China currently. Uh, currently and in Tianjin, Beijing, Guangdong, where so many Sri Lankans mm. and I think it's uh, very great opportunity to come and study in china because uh it's a different uh experience and the education also very good in china and i think first thing is to prepare for is language because it was the difficult thing i have faced because uh, when i come to china i didn't know the language and it was very hard to travel alone uh without knowing the language and then the f- second thing may be the food <laughs> because you need to bring some so things from <laughs> bring clothes, don't bring clothing okay bring food. Yeah. Oh, food. all right thank you so much what do you how do you feel like um being a student in china how do you feel uh i feel lucky to be a student in china because Uh China is my second home because I call it second home because when I was in Sri Lanka uh, I'm the only child so I depended on my parents every time every single time I did some work like alone the but every time I needed my parents support but after coming to China I have learned so many things I have uh experienced a lot of things alone and i have like gained so many like uh, good things to my life like it changed my life after coming to china uh so i call it my second home because china teach me to be independent mm great great 
All right. So for the next question, for the last question, are you ready now? Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, mang kiani kamati apge Sri Lanka kante Chinese kiani tamat vadagat vage ma boho ma karani ka minisun city no ratak iting. Cina gana atta tama godak kaya baridi rat hitenoa. Unat mangkian ni mama deng auru tunha marati se Cina inno. I think mama at windapu dewa godak godak mage jiwiter wadaga tuna Cina ing igen gatte dewa Cina minisungen igen gatte dewa. Ti mangkian ni hamotu mang ardana kerna Cina ta enna Cina ta avila. Iganagan wargi, ma Iganagan nat godak hambena dewa. Iting enna Cina itu, atwininna Cina minisunge tiene ekhornik bawa wargi ma meka atram lassan ratak lassan atwinin kela mangara dina kena hamotam. All right, that's great. That sounds so nice. All right. Um, are there any other thing you would like to add to all the Sri Lankans out there? Uh, yeah, I think uh, the first thing is to learn the language. And the next thing is like China is an, an amazing country because there are so many things to see and uh, so many things to learn in China. So I like to invite all of you to come to Sri Lanka. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. Just go on. Sorry. <laughs> to China. Uh, so I like to invite you all to the China. Come and uh, experience the amazing place. All right. So I can see you dressing so beautifully today. I mean, I love it when someone embraces their culture. I wish I can do that. I'm trying, anyways. <laughs> so could you please tell us what this special, beautiful attire is all about? Uh, so you, you could stand up if you want. Okay. okay. So this is called a uh, Candian sari. So Kandy is my hometown, and Kandyan means our last kingdom. Kandy is our last kingdom. So the people who was in Kandy, the ladies, wear this one all the time, like in that time. So they call it Kandyan sari, mm -hmm. and usually as teachers and who work in government uh, offices they wear every day sorry so every wear, day every day like oh, eight hours God. ten hours they are wearing this and <laughs> so Isn't i yeah i was a teacher when before i come to china oh. so i also wear the sari all the day so but now i'm not very used to it because uh, it's a long time i didn't wear it all right, guys, I'm going to get myself a sari. Watch oh, out for that. So huh? Whoa, it's so beautiful. All right, Lakshi. Oh, my God, you look so beautiful. I'm going to get a sari. Watch me, okay? <laughs> I'm not kidding. Thank you so much. So is there anything you'd like to say to YouTube? Uh, so thank you, Jen, for giving me this opportunity. Thanks for honoring me. To introduce my culture and my country and the feelings of feelings of China, how I feel about China, and uh, subscribe to her channel. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this because more people, more culture, more vlogs, and everything about here in China is coming your way. I love you. Bye-bye.